Well, a lot of times it's a matter of following the person and seeing where they'll let me, they'll, where they'll take me. You know, the, the key to me and what I do is, is not that I'm in control or I have the power. It's that we're in a journey together and I'm walking side by side. As soon as I take the lead, they're following. And that's not what I want for them in their life. I want them to lead the way in their life. So even when you, when you look at a log like this, he, cre he brought this himself and he created the therapeutic process. He created this and I saw what he was doing with it and I thought, wow, what can we do with this? Because this is the gift he brought me. And that's, that's the key is seeing what gift each person brings you and what ways helps them to express themselves the most. Sometimes it's rollerblading, sometimes it's walking outside, sometimes it's climbing trees. Even with adults, it's, it's going to the driving range and helping them connect to how do they play golf similar to how do they live their life or how when they go for a walk do they you know do they have a plan when they go for a walk do they know which way to turn in a corner there's sometimes they'll get to the corner of a street and as we're walking on the sidewalks and I'll say which way do you want to go they say I don't know I said well then how are you gonna know where you want to go with your life so that's then they go oh you know so again that's where stepping back and letting them define where they want to go and letting them define the direction and I pick up, I, my, my job is to pick up the cues and get out of the way. And that's where you get into a lot of activities and people are able to, they're able to put the thought aside that, wait, I'm talking to this person about real serious stuff. How am I gonna do this? You know, this stuff is painful, this stuff hurts, this feels scary. But no, we talk about it in a way that you say, so what's going on with your dad? You know, or what happened when you were this age? You know, even sometimes when you're walking along the street, I had somebody who felt real angry one time. We were walk, walking along the street, and I said, "How did we get here?" Because we were about a mile down the road, and I said, "You got us here." And they said, "We have to walk all the way back," and it was 90 degrees outside. I said, "We have to walk all the way back," and that was a lesson for them because they realized they got so immersed in their anger that they fail to see how far their anger took them off their path and we connected it back to that life metaphor your anger takes you off your path in life and uh, that's how we kind of get misdirected and misguided i thought it was very interesting because when he handed you this this law this piece of wood log i mm -hmm. i am thinking to myself this must be significant but seemingly some might think insignificant they brought something maybe to distract what was going on when in fact you saw it as as this is an expression of him. This is something about him. This is how he feels. Chopped down, cut up, picked apart. But did you see what he did with it? He said, what do you, I said, what do you find under the bark when it's picked off? Beautiful wood. And that was him speaking, not just consciously, but unconsciously. And that's what, to me, we really have to get through. You can use all the behavioral techniques in the world, but if a person doesn't understand what makes them tick, the behavioral the behavioral plans are going to fall apart in the long run because they'll, they'll revert back to what the, sun, what the subconscious knows. And that's, that's the key about how, this, how a lot of this works is getting to that deeper level in the way that feels comfortable to them, not in the way that feels comfortable to me.